What's good? What's good? Welcome back to Invest and Trade with Jax. Hope you're doing well. We're going to go over our friend BTC. Uh, currently seeing at 28.4. We're up 1.6 on the day. Going to look at the couple of scenarios. Market cap 553 billion. 24 hour 18.85 billion. So, first scenario, bullish scenario, uh, leading diagonal with that fake news pump. That's really the only thing I can look at that would be bullish. And now pulling back in a wave two, five wave move, and a wave one, pull back in a wave two. So, if we start to break the 78.6 at 20, 26K, then you can focus on the bearish scenario, uh, which would be a deeper retracement, basically a WXY, and come down in between 19K and 23.3. So, let me quickly pop back yeah so um and if we start to lose the support of this wedge that would also be could be a signal of the bearish scenario playing out but that's what i'm looking at for btc of course we can watch the neckline of the head and shoulders if it breaks that would be more confirmation of a bearish scenario as well dxy uh, we have a head and shoulders so we could definitely break down if we break 105 that's what i'm looking for um we could probably <coughs> excuse me adjust this a little bit yeah, about 105.176. If we break that bearish confirmation, we can see a larger pullback. We'll see how that affects Bitcoin. Usually they're correlated. If, if DXY is coming down, Bitcoin is going up. Not always. I have seen DXY move um, and Bitcoin doesn't really follow. Like Bitcoin doesn't move the other direction, kind of stays where it is sometimes. Now, if DXY pushes and breaks the bullish level and uh, invalidates the head and shoulders, then we could push all the way up to about 108, which is the 618 yeah the 61.8 fib level so just watch for that uh, right now we have a nice head and shoulders but we have to break that confirmation um, to know if we're going to see that larger pullback if we break the bullish level then we can continue to push up and that would be obviously be bearish for btc so that's what i'm looking at i do think pullback either way we will come down a little bit and we'll see if it's a wave two pullback or if we break deeper, we lose 26K, we start to break the neckline, which is currently at 25.2 for the head and shoulders. And that's when you can see that larger pullback in a wave two in between 19 and 23K. That's what I'm looking at. Um, my trade signals are 10 bucks a month. We're currently just in a trade for Solana. We hit our first two take profits on Bitcoin and then the trade was closed. And um, we're also trading Forex. First of all, make sure to sign up to Bitfinex. No KYC, no VPN for my U.S. and American traders who are looking for an exchange. I have a full-length tutorial. You can trade spot. You can trade futures. Uh, my subscribers only get a 20% bonus into their futures account. So if you deposit $100, you get $20 for free. $1,000, you get $200 to trade with. Completely for free, my subscribers only. And uh, my signals are 10 bucks a month. Let me just open this up here. We have over 2,000 members in the Discord. Daily crypto analysis for many coins. My exact trade setups for crypto, crypto news, member profits, my hard alt plays, and Forex signals and analysis. Currently, we're waiting to get into silver and gold, which should offer a really big trade. And U.S oil we're already in a trade for that so you not only can you trade crypto but as well as forex all for only 10 bucks a month sign up to the patreon link check out all links down below check out my full link tutorial for bitonix smash the like button for the youtube algorithm and i'll see you in the next video much love take care